Welcome back, everyone. We've got another deep dive for you all. This time, you've given us a whole bunch of really interesting stuff about an abandoned hospital over in Finland. The old hospital of horrors. Yeah, the old hospital of horrors. We're looking specifically at episode three of the Finnish podcast, Letetti Texti, which translates to connected text. Right. And uh, that episode is called Sulka Matan Keha, which I believe means unclosed circle. Sounds ominous already. Yeah, and it really is. The whole episode is focused on some seriously creepy rumors about this place. And uh, we're going to, you know, dive in, see if any of them hold any water. Yeah, it's interesting. Right from the beginning, the podcast emphasizes how they went about researching this. They talk about tracking down old documents and newspaper articles, really playing up that kind of, you know, historical mystery vibe. Yeah, and they don't waste any time getting to the good stuff. Right out of the gate, they hit us with this claim. Back in the 1950s, this hospital was supposedly the site of this secret project called Project Soul. And the goal, they say it was to bring the dead back to life. I mean, it sounds wild, right? Straight out of a sci-fi movie. But I think it's important to consider, like, the context of the 1950s. Oh, yeah, for sure. Scientifically, there was so much happening then, especially in medicine. Things like resuscitation techniques were advancing rapidly, and there was this huge cultural fascination with, you know, cheating death. So it's not too far-fetched to think that people were experimenting with, um, you know, reviving patients who had seemingly died. That's a good point. And the podcast really stresses that this wasn't some like small time operation. They claim that the hospital was getting serious funding for Project Soul, which suggests it was a pretty significant undertaking. Right. And apparently the guy running the whole show was this doctor, Dr. Ati Lakso. The podcast paints him as almost obsessed with this idea of overcoming death using all kinds of um, like experimental drugs and electroshock therapy. Yeah, Luxo. Sounds like a character, huh? Yeah. Though, from what the podcast says, his uh, ambition didn't exactly lead to happy endings. They talk about missing test subjects, severe injuries, even deaths, all tied to Project Soul. Yeah, and that brings up those big questions, you know, about how far is too far when it comes to science, especially when you're messing around with life and death. Mm. The podcast highlights one case in particular, this young woman, Inca, who suffered some really awful side effects from the experiments. They say it was her story that ultimately brought the whole project down. Wow. Yeah, it's like that classic Frankenstein story, isn't it? Totally. This drive to control life and death, mm -hmm. but then it all goes wrong. And according to the podcast, things only got creepier after Project Soul shut down. Like staff members started disappearing, dying under mysterious circumstances, just adding to this whole dark aura surrounding the hospital. Yeah, and then they just come right out and say it like, this place might actually be haunted by the victims of Project Soul. Talk about spooky. <laughs> and then they bring in this guy, Michael, who actually went to the abandoned hospital. He talks about hearing weird electrical sounds, just feeling this like overwhelming sense of dread the whole time he was there. Oh, man. Well, think about it. You're in this decaying hospital knowing its history. It's basically built to freak you out. It's the power of suggestion, right? Yeah, big time. And the podcast keeps piling it on. They start talking about sightings, shadowy figures, white apparitions, roaming the halls, the whole nine yards. Like they're really leaning into this idea that the hospital itself is somehow like alive with all this suffering from the past. And the sounds they keep mentioning are really unsettling. Whispers, the noises of the electroshock therapy, even like faint cries. It's chilling. And just wait, it gets even creepier because they reveal that they've uncovered diary entries from a nurse who worked the night shift before the hospital closed. Ooh, a firsthand account. That's gold. Totally. And her entries, man. They're full of this feeling of unease. She describes disembodied voices calling her name, like the sensation that there's someone there, but she can't see them. It's those first-hand accounts that really get to you, you know? Even if we have to take them with a grain of salt, it's like a window into what it was actually like to be there. Yeah. And then, to make things even more mysterious, there's the case of Elena, another nurse who just vanished after a night shift. No explanation, no trace. Just gone. It's a reminder. That places like this, especially abandoned hospitals, can be legitimately dangerous. Yeah. Accidents, crime, even just getting lost in those maze-like hallways. The podcast kind of leaves her fate hanging, though, which just adds to the whole mystery. Right. And then there's this local, Joni, who claims he saw what he called a living shadow near the hospital, adds another layer to it all, but also makes you wonder, how much can we trust eyewitness accounts in these situations? Right. Like, who is this Joni guy? Yeah. Is he reliable? Could it have been just like a trick of the light or maybe like the power of suggestion? 
the podcast leaves that open too, which is interesting. Yeah, so far we've got a hospital with a seriously dark past, a secret project trying to cheat death, all these unexplained events, and then these firsthand accounts that are just bone chilling. What are you thinking so far? What gets me is how the podcast blends, like real historical stuff with these spooky elements. They talk about real scientific advances, but then they mix in the supernatural. It's really effective. Yeah, that's what makes it so good. It's this world where science and the paranormal collide. You're left wondering what's real, what's not. It's smart, you know? Yeah. Because they ground the story in reality, it makes the supernatural stuff even creepier. Right. It's like even if you're skeptical, there's still that little voice in the back of your head going, what if? Exactly. Oh. And that's what keeps you hooked. Yeah. I mean, it really feels like they're portraying this hospital as a place where... Like, the line between life and death got all messed up. Totally. All those failed experiments with Project Soul, the people who died, hmm. is like they're saying the hospital itself is soaked in this, like, supernatural energy. And they weave in all these local rumors and legends about the place, too. Like, Project Soul tapped into something it shouldn't have, and now we're dealing with the consequences. Yeah, it's like they messed with death itself, and now it's fighting back. It plays on some pretty deep fears, doesn't it? Like... What if death isn't the end? What if something comes back? Totally. And I think that's a big part of why this story is so fascinating. It's not just about ghosts and hauntings. It's about our own mortality, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, what happens after we die? Those big questions. Exactly. The podcast really gets into those universal themes. Life, death, the unknown. It's what makes these kinds of stories so powerful, no matter where you're from or what time period you're in. And I got to say, the way they use sound is amazing. It really pulls you into the story. Oh, yeah. They use this creepy music, whispers, those electrical noises, even sounds that are like almost like faint cries. It's all really subtle, but it's super effective at building suspense. You're right there in the hospital with them, feeling the cold like someone's watching you. It's like a horror movie for your ears. And they don't overdo it with the sound effects either. It all feels really natural, like it's part of the story. Yeah, it's about creating this soundscape that you can believe in. Like you said, it pulls the listener in and makes them part of the story. So we've got this historical background, the mystery, the creepy sounds. What's the takeaway here? What are they trying to say with this whole old hospital of horrors thing? I think on one level, it's a warning about getting too ambitious, especially with science. That whole playing God thing. Right. Project Soul is like the perfect example of that. Like humanity trying to control something way beyond our understanding. And the hospital itself becomes this like symbol of what can happen when we go too far. So it's a cautionary tale about scientific progress without ethics. I think so. But it also goes deeper than that. You know, it's yeah. about the power of storytelling. How we use stories to deal with our fears, the things we're fascinated by. Like these stories, even if they're not true, they reflect something about us. Exactly. They tap into those primal fears about death, the afterlife. They give us a safe way to explore those things. Like a mental rehearsal for facing our fears. Exactly. And, you know, when we share these stories, it creates a sense of community, connects us to something bigger than ourselves. Man, we started with this spooky hospital and a secret project, and now we're talking about philosophy and psychology, this is getting deep. I know, right? That's what makes this podcast so good. It's not just entertainment. It's like an invitation to think about life, death, what it means to be human. You're making me think about storytelling in a whole new way. Me too. It's crazy how these stories, even the ones that seem totally fantastical, can affect us so deeply. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. It's like, they're entertaining, but they also make you dig a little deeper. Yeah, you know? like a workout for your brain all about facing those fears. Exactly. You get that adrenaline rush without actually being in any danger. And maybe if you face those fears in a story, you're better at handling them in real life. So we're not just getting spoofed by this old hospital of horrors. We're actually like exploring ourselves a bit. I think so. Yeah. It's what makes these stories so powerful. They entertain us, but they also make us think about ourselves and the world around us. The podcast ends on kind of a cliffhanger. They mentioned that they're going to try to track down Joni, you know, the guy who saw that living shadow. Yeah, they're really keeping us on the edge of our seats. They've given us all this history, all these stories, and now they're going to investigate further. I want to know what happens. It definitely makes you curious. Will they find some proof of the paranormal or is there some normal explanation for what Joni saw? That's what's so great about a good mystery, right? It keeps you guessing. 
You got to think about the evidence, consider all the options, and come to your own conclusions. So what's the final word on the old hospital of horrors? Is it really haunted by Project Soul, or is there something else going on? I think that's the question the podcast wants us to ask. They've given us so much to think about history, science, personal experiences, local legends. But in the end, it's up to us to decide what we believe. Maybe not knowing for sure is part of what makes it so interesting. Yeah, you know, sometimes the mystery is more fun than the answer. The unknown has this kind of magic to it, a sense of wonder that you might lose if you knew everything. Well, I'm definitely a little spooked after all this. Me too. But I'm also really fascinated by it. It reminds me that there's still so much we don't know about the world. And sometimes the best stories are the ones that leave us with more questions than answers. So what do you think? Is the old hospital of horrors haunted by the ghosts of Project Soul? Or is there some other explanation for all the strange things that happen there? Maybe this deep dive has made you want to investigate for yourself. If you uncover anything new, be sure to let us know. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and stay open to all the wonders and mysteries out there.